Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you this card. It's an unusual card. It's a box card. You write on the back with your message. You can even stamp some of it there before you glue it on. Frilly, lacy sides. And then it just sits on a box. It will fit, will lie flat and fit in a 6x6 envelope. Right, to make this card, I am going to change the image on the front. I'm going to use uh, the lovely lattice. I'm going to use that stamp set. For the sentiment, I'm using Itty Bitty Birthdays and Just Birthday Wishes. And then obviously for the die, I'm using Wonderful Romance with the matching dies. And I'm going to use that. Right, for the cards, you'll need a piece. I'm going to do this in rich raspberry. Six, six inches by five and seven eighths. And five inches by five and seven eighths. You also need, for the flowers, I'm using Blushing Bride. So you'll need a piece that is one and seven eighths by five and five eighths and designer series paper and I forgot what this one's called. We've got a catalog here. I have. You know me and papers, I never remember them. This one is is Oh my god, what is... oh there it is. Nature's Poem, a designer series paper. And I'm using the um, one with the rich rose of berry leaves. You also need two pink pieces, brushing bride bits, at 7 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths and two pieces of designer series paper at three quarters of an inch by five and five eighths. You'll need a piece of rich raspberry at three inches by three and a quarter. Oh no, four inches. So is that three? No. Three and a half by four inches. Then a piece of blushing bride at three and seven eighths by three and three eighths and a piece of whisper white at three and a quarter by three and three quarters and they will sit like that on the front and then for the sentiment you will need a piece two and a half inches by an inch in rich raspberry two and three eighths by seven eighths in the petal pink and two and a quarter by three quarters in the white so we need that stamp and that to stamp before we do anything else to let it dry so with our stamp set not ink. I'm using Versify Onyx Black ink. And I'm going to stamp this in here. I think I've gone a bit low and to the side. Let's see. bit high. Let's do that again. Oh, 
Oh, that's fine. Cloth's not very wet. We're cleaning that. Right, put that to one side, and now for the sentiment. Put that in the middle, and now we have birthday wishes. That's that's our stamping done. Just put them to the side. Now then, we need the scoreboard up. So I need to put you out. Right, and with the five and five inch, you want to score at half an inch. one and a half inches, three and a half inches, and four and a half inches. Oops. That's all you need to score on there. With the six by five and seven eighths, uh, six, so it's five and seven eighths, you want to score just do a nudge, no it's six inches, the six inch bit, sorry. You want to just do a nudge at two inches and four inches. Turn it round and do the same, two inches and four inches. All that is is a guideline for you for when you put your box on. Right, we need this bit. And a big shot. And our die. Right, with this die, you're going to put it right to the edge evenly. I have no tape ready, so let's get a bit of tape. And tape that on there. Put that in. And run it through. Now, without even looking at it, I'm going to grab both plates and turn it over and run it through again. And come back. Off comes that. the tape. Get my bin and my brush. And then we have that and one nearly clean dye. So, we've got to do the same again the other side. So, 
so put this in again evenly both sides tape it down run it through pick up both plates turn it over and run it through again I forgot there's a cup of tea on the table and I'm struggling it Put it on there for next time. Put it over the bin and brush it out. Just cut a couple of little bits. Need to get my pokey tool, my nail's not good enough. And Put this away. Right, get out the little bits out. There we have it. So the die cut sloppy when it's going in that way, it just won't cut going in that way. Right, keep that to one side now. Put this die away so it won't get lost. And get our other bit. And with our bone folder, we're going to fold and burnish all our score lines. I'll be like that. Then with our pink pieces, oh, not them, not them. We're going to glue our designer series paper onto our pink pieces. Blushing bride, I need to stop saying pink and green and red and yellow. As you can see, I'm using another bottle. Yes, I did break my other bottle. Right, I've stuck that in the middle on the two inch bit. Right, stick these on. on the side bits. If you're using directional paper, make sure 
you put it on so they all go the same way. This one it doesn't matter because it's not directional. Because the leaves go all different ways. Right. That is that on. Now to put this on here use these where we notched them in at two and four inches we use them as a guideline of where to put it so glue one piece find your notch And the notch there and stick that on just a minute sorry she most probably ring again it's our daughter can you take that through cookie and ring her in the kitchen my husband to ring her. <coughs> Told you she'd ring back. Right. That is oh, not very straight. nice together. Now then to do this we'll get the bit we stamped and you would colour that in but I'm not going to let you boil it a bit with colouring it in. I've already done that. I use my marker pens, not my blends for a change, my markers and I coloured that all in. So, I swear I made a mistake the first time. Stick that on the pink, blushing bride. Then stick this on. Raspberry. And that will go on like that. Oh, you can't see. And then the sentiment. this on all I did was make sure it's even either side put my thumb there and my blues decided to bung up So, 
I am going to place that there. And this I'm going to place down here. Like that. And then all we need some gems. Now I put on these silver button gems that I've got. One right in the middle and one either side. That's all the gems I put on. I hope you like that card. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Let's put one up, one down, that's it. Um, yeah, if you do, give us a thumbs up um, and a like. You can also comment if you want. Um, tell me what I've done wrong or anything you would do different. All I can say is then, thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Please subscribe, press the notification button next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is bye.